welcome to Let's Talk AppSec Ops. I'm flying solo today. I don't have my buddy Luis with me, but there's an important topic that I, I've come across time and time again regarding CWEs and CVEs. Um, and you know, Luis and I talked about this uh, in, in one of our previous podcasts, but it came up again this week in a conversation with um, you know part of the Armor Code community um, around how can we really start to categorize and understand the types of problems that we have in our ecosystem. So just a quick primer on this. So a CVE is a vulnerability. It's a known vulnerability that's out in the industry associated with third-party software there. So that could be something like a commercial-grade software like Microsoft or an Adobe, or it could be an open-source library like Log4j, for example. Um, but that's a known public vulnerability. A CWE is a weakness, and a weakness identifies a potential catalyst to something that could lead to a vulnerability, and it may never actually lead to a CVE because it might be a weakness within your application and your code base that doesn't actually get um, you know, you know, posted on, on, on a NIST because you're really not a publicly available piece of software that way. Now, so how do I work with these two? Now, if I'm looking at the type of analysis that I perform, if I'm doing infrastructure, or if I'm doing SCA within the application security space, we can leverage CVEs um, to be able to help us prioritize that information. We can look to see if the CVE has a known exploit against it. So we can leverage CISA KEV. We can also look to see what's happening from the point of view of dark web chatter um, and, you know, and, and things like that. So we're using like the Armor Code Advanced Threat Intelligence module to help me further prioritize. But when I'm talking about earlier in the process, the, the, the more left we go, this is where CWEs come in. So this is where what you'll be looking for is your SAS tools, for example, giving you weakness enumerators so that you know that, hey, this is related to um, you know, a, 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 an issue with unsanitized inputs, for example. These CWEs give you another way of really correlating data across different tools. Those CVEs have CWEs that have led to them. So we can leverage that information along with SAST information to start cross-correlating these. This then gives you an idea of how can I prioritize the work in my organization if I know that I'm particularly vulnerable to a certain class of CWE, a certain class of weakness, I can prioritize those and actually use that to start driving prioritization in the organization. So I hope this was useful. Um, and you know, certainly this is something that we've we come across time and time again as organizations try to figure out how to correlate data and how to prioritize it. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Uh, check out the show notes. Um, we'll be talking about um, we're doing AppSec Con at the end of June. Um, and if you check out the show notes, you'll also be able to see recordings from last year's conference. It's a fully virtual, full free conference put on by the Purple Book community that Armacode is a proud sponsor of. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Take care, be safe, and see you on the next episode. Mm -hmm.